Right, so back to one of our leading stories now. Communications and Digital Technologies Minister Mondingo Gubele says all SASA grants recipients whose money is paid via the Post Bank have been paid while briefing the media just a short while ago. Gungubele says that the technical glitch that led to the delays in payments has since been fixed. It's bringing the Gas from Public Interest South Africa to weigh in on the uh, update regarding SASA grants payments. The good afternoon. Thank you for your time with us here on the ACBC. Good afternoon. Thank you for having me, Lisa. Let's get your reaction on the uh, briefing that just, um, you know, was undertaken by the minister. What's what's coming to the fore for you at this point following that briefing? Yeah, clearly there's an alternative reality that the minister or this government seems to operate uh, within. Because I just so happened to be in the West End at the moment. And finally, earlier this morning, I was talking to one of the elderly people whose relative is still yet to receive any payment they, they are testimony and um, they are information this morning and it, it is distressing because at the end of the day they have to go and borrow money from uh, loan sharks to try and make the trips wherever they post banks or wherever they, the facilities they draw their patients from and they still come back empty-handed it might very well be that a large majority of the recipients have received some payments, but it is for the minister to go on public TV and say everybody has. It's a bit mis mis could be a bit mis misleading in my, in my take because clearly the situation on the ground is not what the minister is reporting to the public. We, we, we've seen the impact this has had on the most vulnerable. We've also heard him speak about the technological updates, um, fixing the technical glitches that obviously led to um, the delays at Post Bank. And, and, and assuring that they won't be repeat thereof. Has this, was this enough reassurance for you? That's not reassuring at all, because we know for a fact that um, the government has failed to ensure that the systems are all, I mean, it's not, a, it's, it's not the first time that they're uh, uh, providing grants. And if you are to introduce any systems improvement or changes in the systems, you do that off uh, the live situation where you test them and make sure that they are robust before you can even introduce them in a live environment. And it is very sad that such glitches only get to be picked up at a time when people need to draw their pension payouts. Uh, and for us to, to be told now that the systems will be will be looked out uh, and, and sorted, it, it's, it just does not wash because uh, the State Information Technology Agency that is responsible for providing IT infrastructure for government ought to be um, agile, ought to be uh, anticipating such problems before they actually okay because when they do okay the 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 hardship is manifold untold and 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 it, it actually affects the the poorest of the poor no absolutely and so my next question leads to the public engagements that have happened do you think there's been sufficient communication on that front regarding sasa regarding postbank to ensure that people are equipped with credible information at this point I, I clearly I doubt it because um, I mean my interactions with people who benefit or who are pensioners or who are beneficiaries of the grants, uh, some are still none the wiser as to what is actually happening or what 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 next to expect from 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 the system, and clearly it, 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 that points to one thing: lack of proper communication or engagement with stakeholders that. Uh, uh, ought to be brought along and made sure that they actually understand how the system works or any changes that actually have been introduced. But clearly, it points to one thing, there's poor communication or lack of proper communication on the part of the department or government, which leads them to problems that creates a, an uncertainty in communities and angst, because when people don't receive their grants as and when they receive, some of them rely on on on, on um, on, on loaning, borrowing money from 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 shark, uh, uh, loan sharks who actually charge them exorbitant fees. So every time they default in not repaying those amounts, uh, they just get a, a punitive interest also added on the already huge amounts that they owe. So a lot of communication needs to happen from government, which is clearly not happening. Uh, and it is disappointing that uh, the minister ought to, to want to, to be clutching on straws and pointing at others. Uh, for blames instead of accepting claims and actually making sure that the problems are attended and resolved permanently.
Well, speaking of, of blaming and accountability at large, let me bring into the, the impasse that obviously occurred between um, the minister and the now dissolved board. Um, perhaps we could get your thoughts on the relationship between the minister and, and the board. The minister did come out to say and reassure, in fact, um, that the changes in post-bank board won't impact the banking operation or post-bank's capacity. What, what are your thoughts there? Uh, I, I very much doubt that if, if, if a board uh, resigns en masse, as it has happened to the post bank, any board in any company cannot, uh, any, any shareholder, um, as the minister is the shareholder representative of government in the post bank, cannot go and say, look, this is an impact on the operations at all. When the, when the board is there to provide stewardship, especially in an environment that is as fluid as it is uh, the case at the post bank at the moment, you cannot have a rudderless organization where there are no, uh, there's no guidance or oversight in so far as the operations are concerned, and holding those that are what to be doing their work um, accountable. In this instance, the executive, um, that 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 space, that that vacuum that is left by the departure uh, of the board and uh, mass, um, leaves a lot to be uh, not to be. Uh, to be, um, everybody should be concerned by that, by that action, because that on its own tells you that something is just not right. And for the minister to come out publicly and blame the board or other individuals within the board for uh, wrongdoing or maladministration or whatever or negligence or, or, or incompetence, um, on and blame them on a tender without providing any facts is a bit rather unfortunate and a and a. And a and unwarranted because those matters ought to be dealt with directly with those involved and uh, we don't know what else what actually are the the public and otherwise in terms of what exactly the minister is alleging and we are you going to paint everybody with the same brush and say the entirety of the board is involved in malfeasance or could it be smokes and mirrors uh, you know um hoping that this thing will disappear. But clearly, something is just not right. A, a lot is just not right in so far as the post bank. And the minister must come out clear. And it's a pity the board wouldn't be in a position to come out publicly and state exactly their side of the story, because it certainly is two sides to the story, and uh, somewhere the truth lies. And uh, our default position is that until such time that uh, the other side has been heard in this matter. We cannot take what the minister alleges at face value and think that there's something wrong with the departed board because certainly we don't believe that. Well, some mixed reactions coming through there from Debohokas. Thank you for your time with us on the ACBC. Debohokas from Public Interest South Africa weighing on the update, of course, regarding the Sasa grants payment. That briefing was done by the Communications and Digital Technologies Minister Mondingo Gubele just a short while ago, reassuring that um, the Sasa grants uh, recipients whose money is paid via the post bank, in fact, have been paid. Deboho is saying some haven't, uh, also saying it's had an impact on the most vulnerable. We'll have to see where it unfolds from here on too, but thanks to him for his time.